Hello everybody and happy Sunday. We love you and miss you and we're so glad you could join us today. We are talking about Psalms today, but we have a brand new theme. We're going to have music, scripture, and a whole lot more. So let's get started. Last week we were learning a song that was called the 151st Psalm, also known as Testify to Love. And the part that we learned was all the colors of the rainbow, all the voices of the wind. Every dream that reaches out, reaches out to find where love began. And today we're going to learn the other part of the song, which goes, Every word of every story, every star and every sky, every corner of creation lives to testify. So it's pretty simple. Let's take it from the beginning of that. So we sang last week, All the colors of the rainbow, all the voices of the wind. Every dream that reaches out, reaches out to find where love began. So what we're learning today is, Every word of every story. Every word of every story. Can you sing that back to me? Every word of every story. Good job! And the other line goes, Every star in every sky. Let's try that again together. Every star in every sky. Good job! And the third line goes, Every corner of creation. Can you sing that back to me? Every corner of creation. Great job! And there's just three more words. Lives to testify. Can you sing the back to me? Live to testify. See, it's super easy. Let's try putting it together from the very beginning to what we learned today. All the colors of the rainbow, all the voices of the wind, every dream that reaches out, reaches out to find where love began. Every word of every story, every star in every sky, every corner of creation lives to testify. Oh, I bet you sounded so beautiful. We're going to learn more next week. Thank you so much for singing with me. And now, on to our story. So, for our story today, we are learning all about what it means to trust in God, especially when we don't know how things are going to work out. So, we're going to be reading from the Spark Story Bible, page 84, in the story entitled, The Red Sea. It was a long journey leaving Egypt. The Israelites camped on the shore of the Red Sea. The people were feeling really nervous. Moses squinted into the darkening sky. He had heard something. Something in the distance? Moses shook his head slowly. He did not trust Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, to keep his promise. Do you think Pharaoh followed us? Aaron asked. Moses stood listening. We will see, Moses said. We will see. Moses didn't have to wait too long. Soon, a growing cloud of dust rose up in the distance. A rumble of horses' hoofs thundered toward the travelers. They could see them clearly now. Hundreds of pharaohs, hundreds of pharaohs' chariots charged towards them. Hundreds of soldiers followed with orders to bring the people back. See if you remember this from other Sunday school lessons. They were trying to get away, and they had uh, Pharaoh had made a promise to them about that, but they weren't really sure if they could trust him. We're trapped, someone yelled. A strong wind began to blow. Cries went up from the people. Moses, they shouted. Have you brought us here to die? Don't be afraid, Moses told his people. Stand firm. God is with us. Moses gripped the staff in his hand. Prepare to move out, he shouted into the wind. Where? Moses, Aaron said. There is no place to go. Through the Red Sea, Moses said, God will make a way. Moses stood on the edge of the shore. He raised his right arm. He stretched his staff out over the white waves. The waters trembled and divided. The wind, the wild wind roared. 
Soon, a wall of water stood on the left and the right. Dry land appeared between the walls, a safe path to enter, a safe path to the other side. Move now, Moses ordered. How strange it must have felt to step on the sandy path. How scary to feel the spray of the water waiting on either side. Will God save them? Would God keep the promise to Moses? In the morning, Pharaoh's army stood on the Red Sea's shore. What do you think happened? Let's see. They saw Israelites safe on the other side. Soon chariots groaned and soldiers cracked their whips. Pharaoh's army moved slowly across the rocky and sandy path. They will catch us, a young woman yelled. Wait and watch. Well, watch and wait, said Moses. Moses again held up his staff over the walls of waves. Tons of waters came tumbling down. Horses, chariots, and riders were all swept into the sea. From the safe shore came the sounds of singing and dancing, led by Miriam, Moses' sister. Sing to the Lord, the Israelites shouted. God has saved us. So, here's the picture for you. Have you ever been scared about how something's going to work out? Or felt a little uncertain about a decision you were making or something you wanted to do and how it might impact other people? Well, that is just a little bit of how uh, the Israelites felt in our story. But the important thing we learned from this is that we really can trust God, especially in all those moments. In the good moments of when we think we have a plan and the plan looks like it's going the way we thought it would. And also in the moments where it looks like there's nowhere to go. God will always make a way. Now let's hear some scriptures from Miss Jane. Hello everyone. Our scripture reading for today is from the book of Psalms, Psalm 136, verses 1 to 3, 10 to 15, and 22 to 26. In this psalm, we are reminded that just as God was with the Hebrews when they, he freed them from slavery and led them through the wilderness and across the Red Sea, he is with us now and always will be with us and that his love for us is never ending. Psalm 136. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the God of gods, for his steadfast love endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his steadfast love endures forever. Who struck Egypt through their firstborn, for his steadfast love endures forever. And brought Israel out from among them, for his steadfast love endures forever. With a strong hand and an outstretched arm, for his steadfast love endures forever. Who divided this Red Sea in two, for his steadfast love endures forever, and made Israel pass through the midst of it, for his steadfast love endures forever. But overthrew Pharaoh and his army in the Red Sea, for his steadfast love endures forever. It is he who remembered us in our low estate, for his steadfast love endures forever, and rescued us from our foes, for his steadfast love endures forever, who gives food to all flesh, for his steadfast love endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the God of heaven, for his steadfast endure, love endures forever. We will be starting a new lesson next week, so stay tuned, take care, and have a great Labor Day weekend. Bye-bye. Thank you, Miss Jane. That was wonderful. Now let's talk about your activity. I want you to go ahead and sit down with a piece of paper, colored pencil, crayon, marker, whatever you have available and write down your own psalm that is filled with gratitude. It could be how short or how long that you want it, it doesn't matter, but just a few lines or more of what you are grateful for and how you like to show praise to God and all the blessings in your life. 
And then I want you to keep that in a very safe place. So if you're ever having a hard day or your plans aren't going the way you thought they would and you need to trust God, you can look back at your own psalm that you have written on how important it is to trust God in all situations. Alrighty, that wraps up this week's video. We hope you continue to stay well and safe and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.